Hi everyone! Continue tayo sa ating lesson sa quarter 4. So ngayon is balik tayo sa grade 4 math. Module 2 na tayo. So tapos na tayo sa module 1. So ngayon naman is sa module 2 na tayo. So module 2, lesson 1. Finding the area of triangles, parallelogram, and trapezoids. Yung nagdaang lesson natin, ang module 1 natin sa grade 4 math is about finding the area of irregular figures. So ngayon naman is triangles, parallelogram, at trapezoid. So, paano isolve ang area ng triangle? Area is equal to one-half base times height or area is equal to base times height divided by 2. Meron tayong given dito. So, ito yung ating triangle. Hayaan nyo na pa-curve. So, ang height ng ating triangle is from dito sa kanyang point sa taas, pababa. So, hindi itong slant na side niya ha. Dito sa gitna, galing dito sa taas, pababa, ito yung kanyang height. So, suppose na meron tayong triangle na may height na 10, 10 cm at ang kanyang base is galing dito sa gilid papunta sa gilid. So, ito yung base niya. Meron tayong sukat na 14 cm. Isolve natin gamit ang ating formula na area is equal to 1 half base times height or base times height divided by 2. Solve na natin. Area is equal to base. Ano yung base natin? 14 cm. So, 14 cm multiplied by our height, which is 10 cm, divided by 2. So, 14, 14 times 10 is equal to 140 cm squared. Kasi cm times cm is equal to cm squared, divided by 2. So, 140 divided by 2 is equal to 70 cm squared. So, ang area ng ating triangle kung saan merong height na 10 cm at merong base na 14 cm is equal to 70 cm squared. Ngayon naman, isang area ng paralelogram ang ating isolve. So, pagkuha ng area ng paralelogram, area is equal to base times height. Ito yung ating formula. So, meron tayong given dito. Ang height ng paralelogram is from here to here. So, hindi itong side niya ha. So, para lang din siyang triangle. So, dito ka sa gitna, mag-start, pababa. So, meron tayong height na 10 cm. Tapos, ang base niya, ma niya naman is galing dito sa gilid, papunta sa gilid, is 18 cm. So, isolve na natin ang area ng parallelogram. Area is equal to base. Ano yung base natin? 18 cm. Multiplied by the height, which is 10 cm. So, 18 times 10 is equal to 180 cm squared. So, ang area ng ating parallelogram kung saan merong height na 10 cm at merong base na 18 cm is equal to 180 cm squared. Ngayon, is, uh, isolve na natin ang area ng ating trapezoid. So, ito yung ating trapezoid. Ang pagkuha ng area ng trapezoid is equal to base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. So, ito yung trapezoid natin. Suppose na meron tayo ditong height ng ating trapezoid which is 10 meter. Pagkatapos, ang base 1 natin is 14 meter. And then, ang base 2 is 6 meters. So, isolve na natin ang area ng ating trapezoid. So, area is equal to base 1. Ang base 1 natin is 14 meter. Plus, base 2. Ang base 2 natin is 6 meter. Divided by 2 times height. Ang height is 10 meter. So, i-add natin ang 14 and 6. So, 14 plus 6 is equal to 20 meter divided by 2 times 10 meter. So, 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. 10 meter times 10 meter. So, 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Meter times meter is equal to meter squared. So, ibig sabihin, ang area ng ating trapezoid kung saan merong base 1 na 14 meter, base 2 na 6 meter, at height na 10 meter is equal to 100 meter squared. Lesson 2 na tayo, finding the area of square and rectangle. Ang lesson 1 natin is about finding the area of triangles, parallelogram, and trapezoid. So, ngayon is square at si rectangle naman yung isolve natin. Paano ba kunin ang area ng square? Sa pagkuha ng area ng square, ang formula natin is area is equal to side square or area is equal to side times side. So, meron tayong square dito kung saan meron siyang side na 6 cm. Isolve na natin ang area ng ating square. So, area is equal to side times side. Ibig sabihin, 
6 cm multiplied by 6 cm. Kasi lahat ng side ng square is magkapareho lang yung sukat. So, 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Centimeter times centimeter is equal to centimeter squared. So, ang area ng ating square kung saan merong side na 6 centimeter is equal to 36 centimeter squared. So, ngayon is ang area ng rectangle naman yung isolve natin. Ang formula sa pag-solve sa area ng rectangle, area is equal to length times width. So, meron tayong rectangle dito. Meron siyang length na 12 meter at meron siyang width na 11 meter. So, isolve na natin siya gamit ang ating formula na area is equal to length times width. So, area is equal to length. Ano yung length natin? 12 meter. Multiplied by the width, ang width natin is 11 meter. So, 12 times 11 is equal to 132. Meter times meter is equal to meter squared. So, multiply natin 12 times 11. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 1 equals 1. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 1 equals 1. And then add. So, bring down 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, and bring down 1. So, 132 meters squared. So, ang area ng ating rectangle kung saan merong length na 12 meter at may width na 11 meter is equal to 132 meters squared.